Hi there. I just put my hair up. I should have left it down so I could record this video, but I had a big presentation this morning. So that is done. Let's see what else is going on. I got to go to Costco to go purchase groceries because I haven't done it this week. I had a mama fail today. My son's teacher uh, is getting married this weekend. And I knew this and I've just been doing everything last minute. Like I'm not even anywhere near done Christmas shopping and I wanted to get her a card. I had already gotten some of her gift. I had gotten her like little face masks from Target. Um, and I think I wanted to get her like a gift card. And I was, I thought today was her last day and she was going to take Thursday, Friday off. But then I reread the text message this morning or the email in Class Dojo and it said she's taking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. So I'm like, dang it, I missed the window. I mean, I can give it to her when the kids come back from their holiday break. So, um, yeah, it's just a mama fail because I, I forgot. And I was gone yesterday. Like, as you saw, I was in Los Angeles. Let me put this on the stand here. Okay, it's so much easier to talk when I'm not holding it and shaking. Um, what else is going on? Um, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this or not on this channel, but it, in addition to the grocery budget, I also have a meat budget because I was finding that I was going over my grocery budget because of the meat and it's so expensive. And so I think I'm going to buy some steaks. Um, it's always a treat. Like Jim loves steak and I always want to make him feel special. And that in a way I make feel Jim feel special is through his tummy, <laughs> um, through food. And um, so I already showed you the pasta dish that's one of his favorites and the next favorite is prime rib i'm not doing a prime rib not today but um steak is also his favorite so i'm gonna do a steak i'm gonna go to costco and buy some steaks i know that's probably not the best um, priced but that's where i'm going i'm not gonna run around and go to too many different places plus i like the large cut at costco uh, let's see what else am I going to get there. I really honestly I need to because I had shopped in July for some Christmas stuff so I need to put everything I just don't have time but I need to put everything out to see like who did I buy what for and usually again this is why I use that Santa app and I didn't use it this year and I'm kicking myself so I gotta get myself organized. I also yeah anyway I'm gonna let you go. I will show you what I get at Costco and yeah, that's what you're you're just gonna come with me today. I think I'm I'm mostly done with work. Let me just take a look. Oh no. I'm supposed to meet somebody for lunch today. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I looked. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll come back to you after this lunch that I'm supposed to go to. Ah! Hey guys. So I think uh, I was on with you when I realized that I was having lunch with my friend. <laughs> Um, we had such a great time. I had not seen her in quite a while. Um, she was one of my best friends in Los Angeles. We spent every weekend because we were both single. And um, it was just so great catching up. And I, we didn't want to leave each other. <laughs> there was so much to catch up on. And uh, I think we spent about two and a half hours together. And then both of us kept checking our phones because we were working, you know, um, and responding to emails and stuff and we're like we let, we met at a Panera I treated her she's a single mom and uh you know living her best life trying to do everything and be everything for her kid and uh it was just it was awesome we were like we need to do this more often I know I personally need to take time to be with friends and I don't really have a lot of friends in the area, most of my girlfriends live in Los Angeles or they've moved to other states since then. So it was really nice to like have a face-to-face -face conversation. Um, but I mean, I talk to my friends all the time on the phone. So I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to come and let you know that that went really, really well. And um, we'll see what else I get into today. Okay, so I didn't show you the all the steps, but I'm making bagels. So this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna cover it with a damp towel and it's gonna sit on the counter for eight to 10 hours. I'm gonna do it 10 hours and do it when we get up tomorrow morning um, and before
or I get the kids ready for school, I will do the next steps. Also, I'm just gonna leave it on the stove and cover it, it says with a damp towel. So this is, um, they call it a tea towel. And it's supposed to be like 70 degrees. So I think the house gets a little colder than 70. So we'll see how I can um, take care of this. Chewy is doing well, he's growing. I just fed him, so it's already growing. I may do one more bagel tomorrow. Um, so we'll see. But I definitely, this is my discard. Let me show you what the discard looks like. This is the discard that I gotta put in the fridge and I'll make crackers. Um, what else? Oh, pizza dough. Probably do some pizza dough. That would be cool. I don't know. I'm gonna keep feeding it and take care of the sourdough. And I found yeah. it. Okay, what day are we on? 14, and it's on like the elf that's painting the horse his head. Horse's head. And it's like on the corner of the underwear. A teddy bear. I want this this uh, time. Another teddy bear? You're gonna eat it this time, you said? Uh huh. Normally I don't like chocolates, but I'm gonna eat it this time. I kind of like them, but. <laughs> what about you, Miss Camila? I want to give a piece to Daddy. Oh, that's very nice. Happy day for you.